Hey everybody, I want to share a project that I did for a craft group on Facebook and it's called the Craft Hole. And the challenge was to make a tag mini album. Not your classic tag mini album that's just a mini album that you fill with tags, but an actual mini album that the pages are made from tags. The original blog that I saw um, that did the original project, she used the Graphic 45 tags. And since we didn't all have Graphic 45 tags, we came up with a way um, to make it anyways. So let me show you um, how to do that first. Okay, what you're going to do is cut 3 7 of an eighth inch wide by 8 and 7 eighths, okay? Then you're going to score it two and a half, and that's what makes your pocket. And then, of course, at the top, you can make it into a tag because it's supposed to be, you know, a tag. That's what the pages are made of. So I just did the classic tag at the top with the um, little corners and the hole. But you can make it, you know, any way you want to make it. But um, that's what it started off to be, and the challenge was to do six pages. Um, once again, it is three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths, and then you score it two and a half. And then, of course, you're going to uh, adhere this down, and then on the other side, your binding will keep the pocket down. So, there it is. That's what it starts off looking like. And this is what I made. And this is my first Tim Holtz themed anything. I mean, I've been buying paper and, and buying a lot of embellishments, but haven't uh, used them before and never really got, uh, I guess, inspired to. Well, on this challenge I did, and this is uh, like my fourth or fifth little mini, so uh, take it easy on me. <laughs> okay, let's get started. There is my cover, and what I did for the closure is I used a Tim Holtz um, clips, and then I put um, a little fragment charm. It's also a Tim Holtz. Um, like I said, it's called a fragment charm, and then I used some seam binding, so that's the clasp. Um, I made my cover and the back a little bit shorter so the tags could uh, hang out at the top, so I really like that, and then I used my bind it all to bind it. And yes, I still haven't uh, bought a tripod yet, so hopefully it's not too shaky. Oh, I just love these corners, y'all. This uh, came from a Tim Holtz ATC die. And I just think uh, little details like that is really what uh, makes or breaks stuff. So let's open it up and see what we got going on here. Okay, now, um, a lot of people know when I make albums, um, I like to leave stuff blank here and there just in case I'm giving it away. And, you know, I just like to give people a chance to do something on their own or, or maybe uh, use it for journaling. Alright, I have the first page, and here's the pocket, and then here's some bottle caps that uh, forms the top of the pocket. And then you pull out the uh, inserts, which I've got it clipped with the little tiny clothespin and these are just the little paint chips and I'd use this for journaling this one I would use for a photo mat and then there's the little you know paint chip like you're going to the store pick it out paint and then this one I think is really cute because it looks like a work order and I would also use that as a photo mat and then that's what the page looks like behind it I did use the uh, Stampers Anonymous uh, adverts, so I thought that was really cute. And then, of course, you know, your finished uh, pages will be about four by six, so you'll fit a lot of neat um, pictures, you know, in the pockets, not only on the photo mat. So it'll definitely hold a lot of a lot of uh, scraps and a lot of uh, pictures. Okay, next page. I'm not very good at my bind at all, so. It's gotten uh, hang, hung up a little bit. Okay, I was excited about this page. I really liked it. Um, that was the first time I got to use my viewfinder die. And then this isn't uh, taped down all the way or adhered all the way. So your picture can go right behind the Tim Holtz guys. Okay, the next page is uh, more of an ink, you know, self-inking stamps and metal stamps. 
So um, I used that advertisement that says the rubber and metal stamps. I also used a Tim Holtz key. Hopefully you can see it. It says life. And then you take the little uh, ticket out. And then here's the photo mat. And I also used a little Tim Holtz paper, paper clip. I mean, I really did all 100% Tim Holtz items. So hopefully uh, I'm getting a good view on this book because, like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. Had a really good time with it. Now this one's more like uh, going to the movies. So I did some tickets and just stretched it and grunged it. That's a photo mat. You can also use that as a photo mat. Me personally, I would just use that as a photo mat. Oh, and also the tags at the top, I also use some more seam binding and just use the distress stains to uh, dye it. So that's what I used. Okay, the next page I did more of a metal thing and that's the Tim Holtz nibs. And this was just some metal lettering that I had in my stash. Let's see here, pull this out. I'd use that as a photo mat and another photo mat or journaling. And then I just love the little uh, stamp with the little finger guy, so I added that. Okay, let's go see the next page. Um, I did more of a city kind of thing here. And this is the photo mat, which it just comes out from underneath the token. And I would actually uh, put photos on both sides of that. And there's a Tim Holtz uh, token. And then down here, that was a stamp, and I just cut it out, and then a photo would actually go behind there, or you can just mount it and go behind there. Okay, the next page is more of a sewing theme, and that's what it looks like. And then I did a spool from a Tim Holtz die, and then added some twine. Used some alcohol inks to take the brightness away from the needle threader, I think that's what that's called. I'm not a sewer. <laughs> and then you pull this little book out and it says um, needle book and of course it opens up for more photos. It's like a little mini inside of the mini. <laughs> so there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that goes in the pocket. I used another advert stamp with the corset as you can see and then I added a hanger, a Tim Holtz hanger for an embellishment. So, that's what that looks like. And then you turn the page, and I did some more sewing. And I used a, a, neat, a needle charm up here to hang. I thought that was really cool. I found that in my stash. And that's what that looks like. Now, if I was going to put pictures in the book, or if I keep it, the photo would go there. But in case I do give it away... I didn't want it to be uh, blank, so I stamped that. Okay, next page, I did uh, more of a traveling page, and I did the June, July, August for the traveling months of the summer. And you've got your little plane ticket, which came from a Stampers Anonymous stamp set, and I would use that as a photo mat or a journaling card. And of course, you got to have a postcard. So I made that, and I would use that as a photo mat. And then the background is a big map stamp. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Turn the page, which is traveling on this page. I really like it. And the airplane was a stamp from Stampers Anonymous, and I just cut it out. And then World Traveler at the bottom. Now, at the top of this one, I did a, a, um, a globe, like a world charm. So, gosh, I can't wait to get <laughs> a tripod. So, I hope this is, uh, you can see this good. But, yeah, it turned out really good. I, I'm, I'm tickled with it. Okay, now we're coming on the last pages. Now, this is the end of the clip. So, let's take that off. And this is going to be used as a photo mat that you can even clip or put it in the pocket on this next page. This is the balloon. I just colored it, added the three Tim Holtz guys and put some twine. And then you turn the page and this is the pocket I was talking about that you could clip it 
or just uh, put it in the pocket right there. So there it is. And then I left this blank too, just in case somebody wanted to add some journaling or wanted to write a little story or, you know, whatever. So that's my book. That's my uh, tag mini album for the challenge. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Once again, the uh, Facebook group is called The Craft Hole. It's a really awesome group, so if you have a Facebook account, you ought to swing by. Um, just type in The Craft Hole, or if you know me, which is just Marie Hale on Facebook, um, friend me, and I'll add you to the group. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.